So I was looking at this portfolio the other day that somebody created in React and I noticed a small mistake that they had with it. So they had a few social media icons and their GitHub and icon for their email. But the problem with that was they were bringing in the whole Font Awesome library. So instead of just using those icons, they were bringing in all these different icons as well that weren't needed at all. So that works, but the problem is you're bringing in all these unnecessary icons and reducing the performance of the page just by loading in all these icons. So we're using React, so instead of that we can just use a library like React Icons to only import the icons that we actually need. So React Icons is my favorite icon library in React, and the reason I like it so much is because you're only importing the icons that you actually need none of the unnecessary ones that you aren't going to use and it just has a really clear syntax that makes it really easy to add icons also it combines a whole bunch of different icons from all kinds of different libraries like font awesome material design icons so you have a whole lot of different icons at your disposal that you can use for pretty much everything so I created this example little portfolio website here and let's say I want to spruce it up with some icons over here for my GitHub, an email icon, something for React.js. So what I can do is I can do npm install react-icons, wait for that to install, and then I'm just going to start the development server with npm start. So let me show you the basic syntax for how you import an icon. Let's say I want to import the GitHub icon, so I type in import curly braces, fa github from react icons slash fa so the fa is for font awesome because react icons has a whole bunch of different icon libraries so for example if you use in material design instead of slash fa you would do slash md but anyway let's put that inside our document with the tag fa github close that, save that, and now we have a little GitHub icon right here, exactly as we should. And the great thing about this is it's only bringing the icons you need, so the additional size to your bundle is only a kilobyte or two, whereas with some of these other icon libraries, like the official Font Awesome library, you're bringing in like 30 kilobytes of unnecessary JavaScript, and you're just making your site slower. So that's why I use React icons. So we can also get more. Let's go up here and say we want to add FA envelope for our email. And we also want to bring in something from material design icons as well. So I'm going to go down here and also import uh, MD, what is it called? MD code from React icon slash MD. And if you need to look these up, you can also search the icons here. So what I did before this is look up code, found an icon that I liked, material design code, and I just copied that in here. So I'm just going to go in here and add those additional icons. FA envelope and MD code. And as you can see, we now have these in here. That all looks good. but. Let's say I wanted to add a little bit extra to these icons. Let's say I want to style them or increase the size. So what you can do is you can specify a size. The default is 1M. Let's double it by saying 2M. And let's also put a color in here. Let's say cornflower blue. Save that. And our icon is now double the size and blue. You can also add any kind of style in here like you would a normal React component, but I'm just going to leave that blank for now. You can also add a title here if you want it to be accessible. So if it's, so if you want a screen reader to read it, we could put in uh, code. But honestly, it's not going to really help out here because it's not a necessary icon, it's just a little visual flair. So I'm not going to add that. But let's say I wanted to make all of these icons the same color or the same size. Now, I could go and copy and paste the size and color to each of these, but that's not really an efficient way to do it. So instead, I'm just going to delete this, 
and I'm going to use something that comes with React icons. So you can import icon context from React icons. And what that's going to do is it's going to use React's context API to create a wrapper around your whole app so that all of your icons get the same styling. And what we can do is I will go to your app component and let's create icon context dot provider wrapping up wrapping the entire application and then we can pass in a value here so let's say inside here we want to make the color cornflower blue and also in this object let's say size is equal to 1m I know that's already the default but I'm just gonna add that in there and then of course you gotta finish this by going down here and adding the closing tag Okay, so I forgot to close this right here. Close the object right there, save that. And now when it refreshes, we see that all of them are the same color. So this is gonna be true across my entire app because I wrap my entire app with this icon context provider. Now, if you wanna overwrite these, you can. So I'm gonna go here and add a different color, let's say purple. And of course it's gonna overwrite that if you want to be more specific and change one. So that's how you can style all your icons at once. It's pretty convenient. And that's basically all there is to React icons. There's not a whole lot to say because, like I said, React icons is a really simple library. It's just a really good way to put these icons inside your React app. So that's why I use it for pretty much any of my projects that are going to use icons. Of course, like I said, I like it a lot more than these other libraries because when you're using Font Awesome, the official package, you have to install all these different libraries. Uh, you have to put in a whole bunch of different syntax to actually make it work. It just looks kind of complicated and convoluted, so that's why I like to use React icons. It's just a simpler way of doing everything. So I'd recommend you use that for your next project.